Hi. This is Tua with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to install multimedia codecs on Ubuntu 16.04, 18.04, 20.04, or upcoming releases and its base distributions. This video should be a great place to start, especially for those who new to Linux. So, when you try to watch a video, well, let's say .mp4, you may end up with black screen like this, or unable to play file with some decoder, are required to play or not installed message. But don't worry, this can be fixed easily, because Ubuntu provides a single package called Ubuntu Restricted Extras to install all the essential media codecs. The Ubuntu Restricted Extras is a package that consists various essential software such as audio codec to play various audio formats, Extremer, Microsoft Web Fonts, Unrar, and codecs for Chromium Browser. Ubuntu excluded it out of the box because these video files and other media formats are restricted by copyright or legal issues. We have to install it manually in order to play those videos from the repository specifically created by Ubuntu to provide non-open source software to its users. As I mentioned earlier, installing Ubuntu Restricted Extras is quite easy. Since the package is available in the Multiverse repository, you have to make sure that Multiverse repository is enabled on your system. Open the software and updates from the application menu and give a check mark to software restricted by copyright or legal issue and community maintain free and open source software to access more packages. Click close and reload button to download package information from all configured sources. If you like command line, you can also do this by running sudo at apt repository multiverse. Once updated, now let's open the terminal window and install it. Run sudo apt install Ubuntu Restricted Extras. Press Y and Enter key to confirm the installation. The advanced package tool should download all the required packages for you. So, enjoy your coffee until the process is complete. When it asks the end user license agreement, press the tab key to select OK and then choose Yes to accept the challenge. As you can see, the system will grab some of Microsoft Core fonts from SourceForge.net. But because of my bad internet connection, the download failed. Well, I really don't care as far as the codecs are installed. So let's just minimize the terminal window and check the result. That's it. The default video player now works flawlessly. Ubuntu can now play .mkv and .mp4 without any errors. I hope this quick tip help you to fix Ubuntu doesn't play videos.